Hi, I'm Ryan, and I'm a rising junior at Cupertino High School. So for my main project, I chose to build the RC hovercraft, and the reason I chose this project is because although my uh, main interest is in computer science, I decided to um, explore some mechanical as well as electrical engineering. Uh, so let me demo the hovercraft. Um, I'm, I'm going to straight down the center here, so you can whatever. <laughs> two DC motors and one servo motor. So um, I have one motor here which is directed downwards. This, this inflates the skirt of the hovercraft with air and provides lift, like so. And the second motor is directed backwards. It blows through this, uh, these rudders I have here and that provides thrust for the hovercraft. And the servo is attached to these rudders here and that provides steering for the hovercraft. So I ran into many challenges while building uh, this hovercraft, but one of the most challenging problems I faced was getting the hovercraft to steer properly. Um, so initially I only had this one center rudder here in the middle and um, this, this one rudder couldn't redirect enough air to steer the hovercraft. So um, I tried fixing this problem by just like making the rudder larger but it still couldn't direct, redirect enough air. So I had to come up with a different solution. So I decided to implement more rudders and um, the way I did this was I used these flexible plastic hinges here. Um, they're called RC hinges. And I basically cut out two pieces of uh, Debron, which is what the entire body of the hovercraft is made from. And um, then I anchored them to the rest of the body. And then I cut out this horizontal bar, attach it to the center, so that when the horizontal bar is moved in one direction by the center rudder, it pulls along the other two rudders. So, um, uh, so, at Blue St so my experience at BlueStamp was a very uh, educational and fun one. And, um, and throughout the process, I learned a lot about my abilities as both an electrical and a mechanical engineer. And um, I also learned the process of um, iterative prototyping, which is basically you design something, you test something, and then you use the results of testing to design a better version of it. That's how I came up with uh, this assembly of rudders here. And um, going forward, I plan to use this ultrasonic sensor, which I have attached to the front of the hovercraft, as well as an Arduino microprocessor, to um, enable the ho hovercraft to see and avoid obstacles. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> yes. How did you figure out the size of the fan that you need to get this off the ground? Um, uh, okay, the way I figured out the size of the fan, like, I didn't really do any calculations. I just looked at what previous students used. <laughs> so, that's how uh, I figured out the size of the fan. But, um, like, I, a reason that you wouldn't need one that was too big or too small, because if it's too small, it, it can't blow enough air into the skirt to keep it inflated. And if it's too large, it, it won't fit in the body. And it would just reduce the amount of space inside I have for um, other electronics. How does the controller uh, communicate with uh, each uh, motor? Uh, okay, so in here, um, it's kind of hard to see, so it's, it's, a, it's a little messy. Uh, this here is a receiver. Um, so this comes in a pack with this and the receiver, so all I had to do is set up the receiver and plug in all of the signal wires. And uh, this would basically, and the batteries of course, and um, this would basically allow me to control the motors. Can you please turn that this way? Oh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have three different controllers, one for each motor on your remote control? Um, so, okay, so basically the way this receiver works is it works kind of in 
channel. So, um, and then you can set what uh, kind of button or lever on this you want to control each channel. So, for example, uh, you can have channel one as the throttle, and then you just map channel one to this on the controller. So when you push this up, then it increases the throttle, and then you just do that, repeat that for all the other um, motors and servos that you have inside. So it, it takes a bit to learn how to drive that thing, doesn't it? Yeah. That's a good Ryan, you want to share the story? <laughs> yeah, so um, I, I let Eric drive my hovercraft, <laughs> and then um, so, somebody, I'm, I'm not going to name who, uh, <laughs> drove it uh, right behind somebody, and, uh, and they weren't looking, so they kind of like took a step back, and oh. they, they stepped on the hovercraft, but it was, it was only one of the front panels, so it was, the damage wasn't that much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Okay.